Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a what sold video. I've just been filming a bunch of little clips of me during my shipping process throughout the past couple of weeks and I'm going to put them together in one little video to show you guys some interesting sales and sales that I feel I feel were kind of noteworthy to point out. So these are all items that have sold for me either on eBay, Poshmark, R and Mercari. Um, so I hope you enjoy. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you enjoy reseller related content. Alright guys, so we have two items that sold off of our little knickknack hard goods table over here. So I wanted to show them to you guys just because you know I don't sell a ton of hard goods. But recently I've been kind of testing it out and trying to learn some stuff. So I did sell this vintage 1999 wrestling action figure set the four horsemen i found this at goodwill i paid eight dollars for this and this ended up selling very quickly actually i took a best offer over on ebay for 35 dollars so that was super exciting and super easy to ship out and then i sold this super cute little guy right here this is a i think it's zelda wisdom Somebody donated their entire collection of these little guys, and um, I'll put a little video insert in so you guys can see. I looked up comps. They're very mixed. I think it kind of depends on which one you have, um, if there's duplicates of one listing listed, and I did not want to sit in the thrift store and look every single one up, so I just decided to pick out two of them. And this one I thought was the cutest one out of all of them. It's the let's turn uh, those lemons into lemonade. But like, look at the detail on this, you guys. The money and the cute little lemonade pitcher and the glasses. So adorable. And this ended up selling very quickly for my full asking price on eBay, which was $28.99. I do still have one more. I grabbed this little guy as well, just because he's a little clock. Had beer, want milk. I thought that was adorable. I actually went back to the thrift store yesterday and looked for a couple more of these and they are all gone. So somebody came in and swooped up all of them. Um, just because I sold one so quickly, I was like, ah, maybe I'll pick out a couple more, but nope, they're all gone. So I'm happy I did grab a couple of them and I'm going to get this guy wrapped up, packaged up and sent off to his new home. Next up, we have these Keds. I shared these in a recent haul video. These are the Keds Paper Rifle Company uh, collaboration. They have that very like Bridgerton vibe to me right now, which I know is really popular with the really pretty floral pattern. Um, seven and a half women's and these sold on an offer to likers on Poshmark I think for $31 and then I sold this lululemon duffel bag which I did thrift let me show you the big logo this sold for $40 um, I probably could have got a little bit more out of it but I decided to take an offer of 40 just because of the damage you guys see on the tubing here there's no holes or anything. The zippers all work. It's pretty clean otherwise, but the like kind of rubber tubing around the edges, you guys can see is kind of peeling, which I did note in the listing. And yeah, it still sold for $40. So I was really happy with that. All right, guys. So I just sold another item on eBay and my porch pickup, my package pickup has not been picked up yet. So I'm going to hurry up and get that added to the pile so it can go out ASAP. Um, it is this digital camo Los Angeles Dodgers baseball hat. Really good condition. Almost looks pretty much new. Um, new era. And I think this sold for $27. I paid around $4 for this. I'm going to go ahead and get these added to the pile I have sitting by my front door waiting for my package pickup. Um, these just sold on Poshmark for $49. They're a pair of camo print Lululemon leggings. Okay, so I have three more clothing items I'm packing up to ship out. This Anthropology kimono that sold for $40 on Poshmark. The 12th Tribe dress sold for $55. And then the Coraline hoodie sold for 
So we have another great sale going out and this is over in our hats bin. I finally made a little box for all of my hats and this one's actually right on top. I just cross listed this yesterday over to eBay and it already sold. You guys, this is definitely a bolo. It's a vintage starter uh, Denver Broncos football hat and this one sold for $127. It is in very, very good condition. You guys can see how clean it is. Here's the tag. And I think they call this like shockwave or something like that, um, this pattern. So you wanna keep an eye out for these. <laughs> Absolutely, they make them in you know all different uh, football teams with this like shockwave pattern, but yeah. I'm super happy with this sale. I've been skipping over showing you guys a bunch of shoes that have been selling. You guys know that, you know, the majority of what I sell is shoes, but I feel like it gets very repetitive just showing you guys all of the shoe sales. So I'm only going to pick and choose a few here and there, maybe just some brands I don't mention as much on this channel, just to kind of give you guys an idea of some of the other brands I'm picking up that are selling well. And this is a pair of Olukai, um, they're called the Mio Lee, I don't know if I said that right, sneakers. These sell so well for me, especially these lace-up ones um, in men's sizes. They do sell in women's too, but I feel like they sell even better in men's. These are a 10 and a half men, and these sold for me very quickly. I just listed these, I think, this week, and they already sold on eBay for $68. I listed them for $75 and took an offer of $68. So definitely a good brand to keep an eye out for. I wanted to give you guys an update on two of the items that I recently shared in some of my haul videos. So this Stodd Brit linen and leather bucket bag sold over on Poshmark fairly quickly because I just listed this, I think, this past week. And I think it sold for $85. I'm gonna pop the comp, up, the comp up on the screen so you guys can see that just in case I'm wrong. And then this men's Lululemon tank top. I picked up two of these, one in gray and one in blue. And this one sold for $25 over on Poshmark. Okay, so we have a couple clothing items going out today. First up, we have these Calvin Klein men's jeans. These sold on eBay for $20. I was hoping to get a little bit closer to $25 for these, but I've had them for almost three months now, so I decided it's better to just go ahead and let them go. I think I paid around $6 for these, so not a huge profit, but happy to see those go. If you guys remember the Fit Flop sandals that I picked up from the yard sale, I think I shared these in my last video. I paid $1 for these and they sold. Um, usually I can get $25 to $30 for Fit Flop, but I got a $20 offer and because I only paid a dollar for them and we're right in the middle of summer, I don't want to hang on to these. I decided to go ahead and just let them go for $20, but still a really good profit and they sold very quickly. Um, here's how I'm going to ship them. So because they sold on Poshmark, I can go ahead and box ship them. It's not going to make a difference in the price. I'm going to use this priority mail shoe box here. I just like to stick a little bit of paper in here to keep them from getting smushed um, because this rubber, you know, can get bent a little bit. A lot of some, uh, you know, other flip flops that don't need to be stuffed, I won't stuff, but I didn't want these to get creased. And I'm gonna stick them in this little baggie here with a thank you sticker. This is not necessary. I've actually stopped putting a lot of my shoes in poly bags, um, but for shoes that have, like for example, these have these little stones kind of on them. I'm gonna put a little extra layer of protection for them in the box. Um, but I used to put all of my shoes in these poly bags. I've kind of stopped doing that just to see if it made a difference in like my reviews or anything and it hasn't. So I'm trying to use a little bit less, you know, packaging material. And then I'll just put a little thank you sticker right on there and stick them down in the box and they are ready to go. I also have two hoodies shipping out today. This zip up Carhartt hoodie, it's Sherpa line. This is a women's. Um, this sold for $35 over on Poshmark. 
And then I have this vintage like Y2K grunge O'Neill hoodie. It has that kind of faded look. Those are all keywords I use in my title. Um, this style is just really popular right now. And this one I knew was gonna do well because it has like the logo on the sleeve, the front, and then it has the back logo. I had a bunch of watchers on eBay on this. I think like two or three watchers right away. I just listed this and it already sold for $35. So definitely something you wanna keep an eye out for. It does have the older, like early 2000s tag on the inside. And I am about to lint roll this because it has all the fur on it and get it packaged up. All right guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.